Hello, dragons. Uh, my name is Vaughn, and I'm the founder of Nimble. It's a range of child-friendly household cleaning products that are powered by plants. Today, I'm here to offer you a chance to invest 85,000 pounds in exchange for a 3% stake in the business. A few years ago, my sister gave birth uh, to my first ever niece, Rian. She told me that she had trouble washing her milk bottles. Being a chemist myself and an R&D manager for 10 years, I decided to invent Milk Buster. Um, this is a patented baby bottle cleaner that removes the milk residues by detaching milk fats and proteins from plastic. It's very easy to use. All you need to do is add a bit of water and spray Milk Buster twice. And if you don't have a bottle brush with you, it's okay, because you can just shake it. And you can see that the bottle is clearing up. When you smell it, the odor is now neutralized without any use of uh, chemical fragrances. Then, two years ago, I decided to come up with my second product, which is Sticky Stopper. This is an antibacterial cleaner that is bleach-free, powered by corn and coconuts. And then lastly, uh, we have Laundry Lover. This is our no residue baby clothes detergent, which is great for children with sensitive skin. Next month, we will be launching in around 90 boot stores nationwide. We are also in early discussions with two major retailers here in the UK. Thank you. Samples. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's a polished pitch from Von Sai who's looking for £85,000 for 3% of his child-friendly natural cleaning product business. Thank you, Thank you. Oh, thank, you. thank you, Tuka. Thank you. Tuka Suleiman is first to put the scientist's company under the microscope. I don't know if you know, mm. but I'm in this baby world. Yes, I do. We've taken a brand to 54 distributors around the world. Mm. I know this sector yeah. very well. So, at the moment, are you trading? Yes. So 2016, we turned over 8,000 pounds. And then in 2017, we turned over 33,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. And then in 2018, uh, we turned over 34,000 pounds. Is that all? Yes. Based on your valuation? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be massive. <laughs> I mean, it's like... I thought three million. Yeah, yeah. I'm puzzled. Mm -hmm. Did you say 3% or 30%? 3%. So you're valuing this at 2.8 million? Yes, that's correct. <clears throat> um, um, have you got anything else you want to say or not? Um, yeah, we have a patent. And what's the patent? Have you had the patent valued? Uh, oh, not professionally valued, not So yet. Where, where do you get this pie-in-the-sky valuation from? <laughs> yeah, so it's down to the, um, the, the deals that we have now struck. But none of those have happened. None of it's happened yet. Yeah, no, that, that is true. So, um, so what is worth £2.8 million pounds today? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would say it's really down to the brand that I've created. You because... haven't got a brand, you've sold nothing. <laughs> Are you hiding something? Have you got £2.5 million pounds worth of cash somewhere? No, 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 yeah, yeah. So you see, uh, um, you see what you get basically with me. Yeah, Vaughn, yeah. well, you can see what you get with me. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Mm. And you know what? I don't even want to spend the time going through your product mm. because it's completely alienated me. Mm. So I don't even know where to go apart from to tell you that I'm out. Oh. Incensed by Vaughn's valuation, Peter Jones bows out. Will the den's queen of green, Deborah Meaden, find chemistry with the cleaning fluids formulations? Why is this different from other plant-based cleaning mm -hmm. products? Um, so the difference is that actually other surface cleaners uh, that are plant-based either wouldn't claim the antibacterial part, or if they claim the antibacterial part, we would have maybe something similar in terms of technology. Well, so you have. So, I mean, there's a very big brand out there. It is an antibacterial cleaner. Yes, yes, Deborah. So these three products mm -hmm. have existing brands that do exactly what these do mm -hmm. in a plant-based, environmentally friendly formula. You know what, Deborah, um, actually, if you do uh, the market research, you'll find out that these eco brands, their market share is really tiny. It is, but it's not as small as your market share. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So to suggest 
that this could be worth anything near 2.8 million is loopy and you don't look loopy. Yeah. I'm really sorry. Can, can I answer that? You don't need to say anything else. Oh, OK. Yep. All right. I, I, I'm, I'm, I go next. OK. I'm out. Oh, sorry to hear this, Deborah. Deborah Meaden briskly dispenses with the entrepreneur, becoming the second dragon out. With Vaughn's valuation hindering his success so far, will Sarah Davies see any reason to invest? You came in here, I was excited. Yeah. And then you started pitching and you're this chemist that knows this stuff and I'm getting more and more on board. And then you kind of insulted us all. Oh. Coming in, mm -hmm. trying to claim that, that the business was worth that mm -hmm. and all the credibility that you had, mm -hmm. you lost us all. Oh. I mean, if you can give me a good reason mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why I would want to invest in this, yeah. mm -hmm. now's your time to convince me, because I'm on the verge oh, okay. of giving you them a couple of words, mm -hmm. when not long ago I was desperate to invest in your business. OK, um, yeah, so we have a number of exciting licensing partnership uh, proposals. Who wants to license it? I'm afraid I cannot tell you the, the company name because How we have... How big are these, the turnover? Uh, they're big. You can't give me the name of, the, of these people? No, I, unfortunately, I can't, yeah, because we're bound by a uh, letter of intent. Y you could be telling me anything. What have they promised you in a minimum guarantee? Yeah, so this is, uh, we're looking at 700,000 units per SKU, and we have 10 SKUs. So what's the longer term vision? Is this the product range now, or have no. you got more? Oh, thanks for asking the question, because I'm also dying to, to tell you this. Um, so I actually have like about 20 other products that uh, that I have in my in my plan. Uh, one is a fabric softener that is vegan, um, and then I'm also developing a bottle brush. So this more like what? Yes, exactly. The news that Von has more products and a potential license deal up his sleeve has freshened up the atmosphere in the den. Now Tej Lalvani wants to know more about the entrepreneur's business acumen. You're great at inventing products, mm -hmm. but I don't know how good you are at marketing and selling. Mm -hmm. How are you going to build your brand? So what I'm planning to do, if we get the, the, the investment, uh, we will be hiring a marketing and sales director. Hiring a marketing and sales director, I mean, that's really not what I want to hear from an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I want to hear that you can take this business forward and market it and sell it as well. Mm -hmm. Now, I do like the space, mm -hmm. and and I think it's an area that can grow. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that you don't have a marketing plan, mm -hmm. and that's where I can help you. So here's my offer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask for a lot of equity all of the money for 45% of your business. Oh, wow. And that's a good offer. It's a huge turnaround for Von as Tej Lalvani offers the full 80,000 pounds. But it comes at a price, 15 times more equity than the 3% the entrepreneur wanted to give away. Will Tuka Suleiman also want to nurture this fledgling business to success? Are you as shocked <laughs> at Tej's offer as we are shocked yes. what you're asking yeah. for? Yes. You know it fails. We're, yeah. we're now even. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm in the baby world of mm. Tevas, bottles, and that sort of thing. Um, so I'm going to make you an offer. OK. And I'm backing you because I believe that we can go places. Mm -hmm. I'll give you all of the money. Yeah. For forty-five percent. Okay. Thank you, Tuker. I know you've had a bit of a grill in here. Yeah. And I think that's because you put us all on the back foot. And I think there's a lesson to be learned for yes, you there. Yeah. Um, I think what these two guys can offer you is excellent. Mm. However, the big potential for this is in the US, mm. and that is a market that I think I could add value with. Mm. So, my offer uh, is subject to how these two guys feel. Mm -hmm. 
I would be up for a three-way split, okay. giving you a third of the money for 15% of the business. OK. All right. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah. Um, um, I think that's, that's reasonable, and it could be quite a formidable team for you. <laughs> One part of me doesn't want to give it away. Come on, Uncle T, you know we're good. Come on. <laughs> OK, you've now got an offer from the Golden Trio. Yeah. Sure. OK, um, can I have a minute yeah, go, and, go. and think? Thank you. Vaughn has pulled off a coup by enticing a three-way coalition of dragons. But with a collective offer of 45%, that's 42% more than he was willing to give away. His chances of securing a more favourable deal now rest solely on his ability to negotiate. Right, OK. Um, yeah, um, so, yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's great um, to receive offers, uh, very generous offers, but um, the, the equity that you are asking for is uh, just way, way, way too much. Um, yeah, we can try to meet somewhere. But Vaughn, that was part of the mistake you made coming in the den, mm. right? If you had come with a more sensible valuation and realistic, mm. you wouldn't be giving away 45% of your company. Mm. So unfortunately, from my side, because we're going to have to split it three ways, 15% each, to go any lower than that wouldn't give us the incentive to do it. Uh, um, would you be open to, say, putting an offer on, on, on your own? Are statement? you ignoring us? Uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, um... I mean, if you're talking to Tej, no. you might well find that I'll just say I'm out. I'm the elder statesman here, need some respect. No, I'm just asking if there's room for us to negotiate because 45% is really high. I would reduce my stake to 13% if they agree. Um, yeah, Tej, Sarah. What I would do is um, the 45% between the three of us, 15% each, but I would go down to the 13% if we got our money back in 12 months. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. Yeah. OK, um, right. Ooh. OK, yeah, uh, this is like, yeah, 10, uh, 10 15, uh, yeah, 10 times more. Um, ooh, OK. Yeah, the... Yeah, I cannot even form my words. Uh, but yeah, basically, I understand where you're coming from. Um, but 45 to 39 um, is very high. Um... Oh, right. Oof. Right. So, yes, I think I'll be happy to accept the offer. Right? Yes, okay. great work. Oh, fantastic. Well done. Well done. We'll make this happen. Thank oh, you. Okay. We'll have faith. All right, thank you. All you've got to do is develop and we'll yeah. sell it. Oh, thank you. Thank well you. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you.